hello naturals welcome to my channel where we are on a journey to learning about ayurvedic herbs oils butters clays which will help you grow healthy thick and long natural hair on this channel i share tips about natural hair as well as showing natural homemade diy products that really work mother nature provides so many ingredients that can be beneficial to your hair journey do not forget that no one is born with long hair long hair comes with persistence consistency patience etc so hit that red subscribe button on your interface let's grow some beautiful hair with some inexpensive ingredients that mother nature has blessed us with ensure you watch this video to the end as all instructions will be stated towards the end of the video so if your hair has been stuck at same hair length all year round your hair is thinning your edges are bored you have fine hair split ends single strand knots excessive breakage and shedding relaxed hair permed hair please today's video is for you do not go anywhere ensure you watch this video to the end please ensure you do not miss any bits of this video because you just might miss something important for today's video we are going to be making use of three amazing ingredients that you can find around you now for the first ingredient we are going to be making use of guava leaves this guava leaves was plucked behind my backyard these are the fruits as you can see i plug them together with the fruits so i can show you guys according to dermatologists guava leaves are considered a great fruit known as a powerhouse of nutrients it contains vitamin b and c which help to boost collagen which is essential for hair growth it is a source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties which help to maintain a healthy scalp and hair for this, I'm going to be using three stalks of guava leaves, which I'm plucking into a clean bowl. And after plucking, I'm going to pour water into it to wash and remove all the dirt and impurities it came with. After washing the leaves for about two to three times, I transferred these leaves into my clean pot and then proceeded for another ingredient our hair is an organic material it needs nourishment the same way we consume food to revitalize our body so our hair also needs food moving on to our next ingredient which is fenugreek fenugreek seeds are a rich source of vitamins a k and c folic acids potassium calcium iron and protein which are essential nutrients for hair growth Additionally, fenugreek seeds promote a healthy scalp environment which contributes to hair growth. Also, fenugreek can impart thicker hair growth with enhanced shine and texture when you use it consistently for 3 to 4 months. I'm so sorry for today's video, my voice may be sounding off and that's because I've got cough so sorry i'm sorry if you can hear me clearly but i'll try my best to be audible enough for the proportion i'm going to be making use of one tablespoon of the fenugreek seeds if you don't have fenugreek seeds please go ahead and use the powder they are both the same moving on our third ingredient is hibiscus flowers I'm making use of dried hibiscus flowers. I know you guys must have been tired of me and hibiscus. The reason for hibiscus in this recipe is because hibiscus aids hair growth from dormant hair follicles, helping cover bald patches and also combats dryness and dandruff. Now, when I mentioned that hibiscus combats dandruff, I'm trying to say that hibiscus is moisturizing in nature. It helps to moisturize your hair. Since fenugreek have got protein in it, this hibiscus is going to balance up that moisture protein. So hibiscus is very, very important. Try to incorporate hibiscus in your routine. Next, I poured 500 ml worth of water in the pot 
and then lit my stove, placed the pot on fire and began stirring. I stirred this to combine all the ingredients and left it on fire for 15 minutes. You have to simmer this for 15 minutes before it's ready. Once it's ready, you will notice that the leaves have changed color. Once the leaves have changed color, just know that this is ready. Turn off your heat and then place on a surface like so. Allow it to cool down completely and also infuse for three hours before you sieve. For the sieving process, I made use of my strainer and a bowl to collect my ingredients. Can you see how rich this tea is? It's very rich. Next, I transfer that into my applicator bottle. For the remaining, I'm going to be adding some preservative to it so that I don't waste it. For the one in my spray bottle, I'm going to be storing it in the refrigerator after use. I'm going to be storing it there for just five days and I'm sure I'm going to finish this in five days. Now for the application, anywhere you've got bald patches, your hair is thinning out. Make sure to use this spray on that side. Spray it on that side and then use your massage brush or the pop of your fingers to massage that area. Do this two to three times a week and you will definitely see results in a month's time. I'm not kidding. And if your hair is shedding so much, make sure to use this spray as the last process on your wash day that is after shampooing you deep condition after deep conditioning then you apply your other treatments after that pour this on your hair cover it to trap some heat allow it to sit in your hair for at least an hour then rinse off with just water now repeat this on every of your wash day if you have the time, you can do it every week, even if you're not shampooing. Make sure to be consistent with it. And within a short time, you will definitely see your hair filling up and thickening up. I'm not kidding. I mean every bit of my words. Now, if you've got issues with single strand knots, make sure to always tuck in your ends. Here's how to use this mix for single strand knots spray it on that section the section where your uh, ends are knotting spray it over there and then apply butter hair butter cream on that area and also your leave-in conditioner make sure to tuck that section in if you're wearing cornrows make sure you always tuck in your ends if your hair is stuck at same length Make sure to use this to dampen your scalp and then apply this on your hair shaft. Make sure to work that in. Do not drench. That is, if you're using it as a leave-in conditioner, you're not rinsing it out. Make sure to use it to dampen your hair. Then apply oil on your scalp as well. Make sure to work this product in. Allow it to sit in your hair with cover up with a plastic bag. This is for it to penetrate your hair follicles. Cover up your hair for at least 15 to 30 minutes. Lastly, uncover and apply your leave-in conditioner and seal with hair butter cream or hair growth oil and you are good to go. Repeat this for two to three times a week and in no time, you will notice that your hair will start to grow as you should. Please note, if you have been using DIY products and they've not been working for you, if you're using them as you ought to use them and they are not working for you, I suggest you clarify your hair using bentonite clay, ACV and maybe some water. Mix it up and apply on your scalp and your hair shaft. Allow it to sit in your hair for a few minutes and then rinse it off. That resets hair. This kind of resets hair. If you find your hair misbehaving, your hair is shedding so much, your hair is not growing, you are having issues growing your hair or thickening your hair, try to clarify your hair. Clarifying hair is very, very important. But a lot of us neglect all of this. 
even if you've got an itchy scalp that have refused to stop itching this clarification is very very important you have to clarify your hair with bentonite clay bentonite clay is very very powerful we do not know this a lot of us naturals do not know this yes it might be expensive but try to get a pack for yourself and say goodbye to hair problems a pack of bentonite clay can even last you for five to six uses depending on your hair density try to get one for yourself and i'm sure i promise you your hair is going to bounce back i must apologize for the noise in the background please forgive me this is not me i promise next video won't be like this if you watched up to this point please say hi in the comment section below thank you so much for watching today's video i really do appreciate if you found this video helpful kindly share with your family and friends also give this video a thumbs up very very important i will see you in my next video by god's grace bye